we propose a data-driven gesture-based cow control system in which the control scheme is learned from a sample gesture provided by different users. Our system is divided into an offline stage and an online stage. During offline, we learned natural hand gesture to control cow motions. We first pick up a set of cow motion trajectories. For each of them, we capture the corresponding gesture trajectories from the multi-touch device. We then build a database by extracting a cow motion feature from the cow motion trajectories, thereby forming the cow motion space. We also extract the gesture features from the gesture trajectory to form gesture space. During online, given runtime gesture trajectories, we evaluate corresponding gesture features. Within the database, we search for the k nearest gesture neighborhood and interpolate the k corresponding cloud motion. The resultant runtime cloud motion features are converted into runtime cloud motion trajectories, which are used to control a cloud. Here, we show some examples of capturing user gesture for training a system. We ask the user to provide a corresponding hand gesture on the screen as if they were controlling the motion with two or more fingers. The captured gesture trajectories are shown in the right. This process results in a database of parallel samples of gesture and cow's motions. In this experiment, we saw how the user uses touch gestures to control some typical tile motions such as translate, trace, contrast, expand, joint, and speed. The user can use arbitrary number of fingers to perform the gesture. He or she can also successively perform multiple gestures to control the card. In this experiment, we create some virtual environments similar to those in computer games. We then ask the user to control the car and navigate through the scenes. In this scenes, there is an obstacle in the middle of a corridor. The user speeds the car, moves it forwards, and merges the two parts together to avoid the obstacle. In this sense, since the car cannot fit through the narrow corridor, the user first applies a contrast gesture to reduce the size, two translate gestures to move the car forward, and an expand gesture to expand the car to its original size. We generate a high-quality, complicated scenario in which the characters avoid a number of dynamic moving cars. The user controls the car movement with multiple gestures. This kind of real-time, precise, interactive control is difficult to be achieved using existing systems. To show that our system is compatible with databases built from different systems, 
we construct a database using car motion generated by the Aureo system. Here are some motion synthesized using a newly built database. We compare the synthesized result generated with the database built from Henry et al. and that from the Aureo. Both cars follow the gestures very well. There are some differences in the car behavior due to different database creation methods.